next guest has everyone in the newsroom very excited, as well as the scientific world. It's a buzz after this gentleman discovered a new species of dinosaur, a new kind of velociraptor. Joining me right now to talk about his discovery is Dr. Robert De Palma, a paleontologist Thank you, with the Palm Beach Museum of Natural History. Congratulations on this Thank incredible you very much. find. First things first, where did you find it? This came from the aptly named Hell Creek Formation of South Dakota. So we literally brought a, a new vicious predator to hell. So hold it up for us. What, how did you know that this was a different kind of velociraptor? The features were absolutely different from any other raptor, plus the size. This is one of the largest raptors of all time. Uh, in addition, it has feathers. So we have evidence of wing feathers on this dinosaur. How your, big was it exactly? Your wing would have looked something like that. Wow. And this is the arrangement of the feathers on the arm. Jurassic Park, you, you won't see any of this in the movies. This is what they actually looked like in they real life. They didn't have their little arms like this. No, they weren't bunny arms. They were they would like clap their hands. That's the that's the shape the uh, the arrangement of the wings. So, so like actually left like this. Exactly, wow. like a bird wing. Yeah. Wow. Lethal. How big would this velociraptor have been? This raptor would have been about 17 feet long and it would have been the most vicious thing of its time. Oh my goodness. So we're talking a pure predator. A pure predator. It would have brought down whatever it wanted to. Have you named it yet? Yes, this uh, raptor just came out last week. It's called Dakota Raptor, named after South Dakota where it came from. And uh, it is one of the most sensational things my research team has worked on. How long did it take you to actually dig the the raptor up? And this is actually the the yes. fingernail. Feel free, pick it up. I can. Okay. Yes. So how old is this? That I'm this holding? is about 66 million years old, oh my gosh. and that is the actual killing claw from this dinosaur. That is not a replica, and that would have taken down all of its prey animals. Oh my god. That goodness. was on the rear foot. Wow. Now, Sends shivers down your spine. Yeah, I mean, I can just imagine like a vicious predator with with something like this. I mean. It's Absolutely. It's scary. <laughs> Absolutely. It sends shivers down my spine every time I work on these things. It is just, you know, the monsters of our dreams actually existed. And to know that these things lived back then is just extraordinary in my mind. Now, the area in South Dakota where you uncover this, is it a, a good area for looking for fossils? Very rich. In fact, this thing coexisted with uh, T Rex and Triceratops and duck billed dinosaurs like Edmontosaurus. We never found one of these till now, though. So we've got a new uh, all star to add to that. It's interesting that you're still finding brand new dinosaurs. Yeah, every year we find something new. So how many types of dinosaurs might there have been? We don't even know for sure. There's no way to know. Wow. You just have to keep sending teams out there to do it, and that's what I'm all about. That's why we do it. And now you also helped out with the South Florida Science Center Dino Exhibit. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, indeed. Uh, they're a great group over there, and they've got a new dino exhibit uh, for probably the next six months. And I'm there offering my support and help uh, from the paleo end, uh, you know, engaging the public there, telling them the stories about paleo, and bringing them real fossils. So it balances out the exhibit, and uh, the public is loving it. Well, hopefully we can get children excited about dinosaurs, and hopefully they'll be interested in paleontology as well, and exploring and digging in their own backyard. I love it. <laughs> and it worked out for you. <laughs> Absolutely, and it still is. I love it. Well, hold it up one last time for us. There it is. Check that out. Those are, those, those are the goods. This is what would have brought them down, man.